You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it Good morning, my darlings. How you all doing? I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to another video. Today, it's get ready with me. Um, I'm actually getting ready to film um, a collaboration, which you will have already seen um, before this video. This one will be going up afterwards. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just getting ready to... Um, well, to pop out to the shops to get the stuff for the collaboration and then to film it this afternoon. So I thought I'm getting ready, so I might as well try out these new products in this video. The ones that I showed you when I was up in the hotel. So um, I've got, I hope you're all okay anyway, before I go into there, I hope you're all okay and I hope you've all had a brilliant week and I've been enjoying the weather. Oh, it's been beautiful, hasn't it? And today we've got all uh, all natural light coming in. I've got the blinds open. It's sunny outside. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really makes you feel, you know, loads better, doesn't it, when the when the sun comes out? Um, yeah. So I'm just putting a little bit of primer on. Um, we've got some products from Be Perfect. So we've got the Be Perfect Crow Matte Cover foundation which has gone absolutely viral um so i'm looking forward to trying that uh i've got a be perfect mascara um and a be perfect in collaboration with jack jossa um contour stick thing so looking forward to trying that as well so three products from Be Perfect. I've got the new Hourglass blusher highlighter things. I've got the Mac Aladdin palette, and this is the this is the mascara. It's called Bad Llama, um, one step fiber technology, uh, long lasting wear, dramatic length and intense volume. So we'll see how we get on with that one. See if it's as good as the Sky High. This is the contour stick, uh, Be Perfect Cosmetics in collaboration with Jack Jossa. Uh, well, it's called a shape stick, bronze and defying, and it's in the shade Mocha. So we've got that to try. I've also got this concealer that was in uh, one of my beauty boxes. I think it may have been, I think it might have been Rockerbox. I can't remember now. It was Rockerbox All Look Fantastic. We've got the Aladdin palette. But I've also got a new palette, a new Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, I have tried it, it's beautiful. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury palette as well. You can see I've already dipped into it. <laughs> I just cover the mirror up so you can see. Um, yeah, but I think we can do that in another video because this is the one, the Aladdin one, the Disney Aladdin one that I showed you and said that we'd try out. So we'll be trying that out. That's the foundation. So, yeah, we've got quite a few bits to try out today. I'll try not to make this video too long, guys. But I don't know why I say that because you know, it's not going to be a short video. And I've also got a new lipstick by Karen Millen to try. And all of these products, yeah, Apart from this concealer, which was in a beauty box, all of these products I've had off Vinted. This Karen Millen lipstick, brand new, was a pound. I mean, you know, the postage was one ninety nine. The postage was more expensive than the actual lipstick. Um, yeah, the lady that had like a set or something, and and this wasn't her shade, so she just sold it on for a quid. Absolutely gorgeous. So looking forward to trying that. Right, I've put my. I've, done, I've had my shower, I've done my skincare, I haven't done anything to my hair yet. I'll do that at the end. Uh, just put my, yeah, primer, primer on, which has gone nice and tacky. So let's get into this, this foundation. Now, what shade did I get it in? Oh God, where's my glasses? Sorry for reaching over the camera. I said I wouldn't go said to myself I weren't going to do that today and I've still bloody done it. Uh, what shade did I get it in? 
W4, warm four. So let's hope it's the right shade. It don't look too bad, but as you guys know, we can warm it up with uh, bronzer. I just need to find some. Oh, let me tell you about the fake tan as well. I, where's it gone? Here it is. Do you remember this one that was in the. Oh, I don't know whether it was Look Fantastic or Rocker Box now. Uh, Beauty Box. I tell you what, I really like it. I've put it on and it's a lovely, lovely shade. It's not orangey at all. Excuse these marks. It's just uh, lumps of dry skin and stuff and the tan sticks to it, doesn't it? That's a burn. And uh, that's where my bracelet's been rubbing me for some reason. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Um, it's really good. It hasn't come off on my pyjamas, I can confirm. And it hasn't come off on the bed sheets either. So I've just had a shower and washed it off. And it's left a really nice, not too orange um, colour. So I really like that. Uh, I'm just trying to find some, some setting spray. Is that setting spray? I mean, primer. Oh, what am I on about? Glow mist. Oh, Jesus, here we go again. <laughs> it's never any different. Oh, I'm all steeped up. Uh, this says this is glow mist. Nourishing mist. Oh, that'll do. It's only to damp the sponge. Because I'm going to apply this foundation with a sponge. Um, I'll leave all the prices and everything on the screen as per. I think I paid a tenner for this. And um, the recommended retail price was quite thick. The recommended retail price is um, 20 so I got it half price. Now, this feels quite, quite thick, so I'm definitely going to have to wet the sponge. I don't want to put too much, too much on. So, let's see how we get on with this. Looks an alright shade. Looking good, looking good. Let's uh, spray this, this sponge. And blend my mummy right down here. Yeah, you have to work quick with it. Now it says it's full coverage. I'm going to let me sort my mirror out. It's full coverage, but it says it's hydrating as well. So we'll see. And it's enriched with, uh, what did it say now? It's enriched with something anyway. Now, it seems to be blending okay. You do have to work quick with it because it is quite a thick. Oh, look at the coverage under my eye. That is very nice. Liking that so far. Let's just blend, blend it out up here. Yeah, liking that. It's a matte matte finish as well but even though it's matte it says that it is hydrating full coverage hydrating matte finish but i have put a bit of um i have damped where we go with the foundation lips <laughs> i have dampened the sponge the coverage is really good you know at that just work it into the skin bit round my ears and work it where I've uh, finished my tan so as I told you guys before I've stopped putting tan on my face I really don't, don't like what it does when it's coming off so the answer is don't put it on and make your foundation match your, your tan that's the answer for me anyway I mean, some people might go along with the uh, tan on their face, but it's really not the one for me. 
unless it's natural sun, natural sun tan. Guys, I've been really impressed with that. The coverage is amazing. It's easy to work with. It's it's a very thick consistency. Uh, the last couple of foundations I've used have been quite runny. You know, the, um, the Charlotte Tilbury one and the, um, the Max Factor one. They've all been quite a runny consistency. Now, you can still see m my scarring and open pores around there. I'll never get rid of that. Nothing's going to cover that up. But... I am super, super impressed with that. Look at that for a shade match. Beautiful. And that was four warm. They've got quite a lot of shades in this as well. 30 something shades. So there's a real good shade range. And that is blended out. Really, really nice. I'm very, very impressed it is a very full coverage you can see so you know not so much um a daytime look it doesn't feel heavy on the face it doesn't feel thick and heavy on the face at all but it's more of um you know i mean if this is how you do your everyday makeup you know you like a full coverage during the day then that this is perfect but i do like the more skin looking ones during the day but as i said i am going to be filming so this is fine i love it really really impressed i'm just keep patting around while i'm talking to you just to make sure it's all it's all in and the coverage under the eyes is amazing it looks really good in that mirror yeah i mean you know no amount of makeup and concealer is going to cover these fine lines up. But I had actually booked in to have tear trough fillers. And um, I didn't go. Well, one, because I was up the Midlands uh, working in the office, as you know. And also, I did a little bit of research and I'm, I'm just, I'm still a bit unsure. I'm still a bit unsure whether to have it because it can move and cause, you know, like lines further down and stuff. So I'm still a little bit unsure about that. Anyway, right, let's try this um, contour stick by Jack Jossa and Be Perfect. Oh, look at the packaging. Oh, my God. It's, it's like hourglass. Look at the shape. Here's an hourglass foundation look at that very very similar oh, i love this foundation very similar shape isn't it loving that really really like that but this is a yes from me love that foundation highly recommend so let's try this this um shape stick Ooh. Brand new. I tell you what, I, I can't get out of a vintage for um for makeup. I, I will leave the price on the screen, but I think this was about four quid, something like that. So yeah, let's uh, let's get in and start contouring. Oh, okay, it doesn't seem very dark. Hmm. Might have to put something else on top of that. I know I thought that'd be really dark being mocha. I really did think that. Actually, it's it's not too bad. Let's blend it in and have a look. I think it, this might be better for um a bronzer oh look at that how quick that blended yeah it's a bit um 
it's not as dark as I like, but it is beautiful. I can put some um, some bronzer over the top of that. It's not too bad though, look. I really did think that being, um, oh, my hair keeps getting in the way, being a mocha colour, mocha's quite dark, isn't it? I mean, it looks really dark there. So, I don't know. I might have to put some more contour over the top of that. But for a more natural, natural look, I mean, I do like a deep contour. That has blended out so nice. Love that. To be fair, that is that is really, really nice. And it goes on gorgeous and blends out beautifully. So yeah, really like that. Put it on the right way. Really, really, really like that. So we'll pop that in the drawer. The box can be thrown away. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop a little bit more um, contour. My, my new favourite from She Glam, you know, the one with the little sponge. I absolutely love it. Also, guys, thanks for all the love on my, uh, my vlog up the boat yard. You all seem to really enjoy that. Oh, that's better, isn't it? And all the lovely comments. Um... Yeah, it, we had a lovely weekend. What did you guys get up to? Let me know. What you was doing in the sunshine? Was it windy where you was or anything? It was really windy where we was. But uh, we still had a really nice time. Hoping to get away in the motorhome soon. Oh, that's better. Now what I'm going to do with that Jack Jossie one. What I'm going to try. I am going to try. Little bit of contour down there. A little bit down my nose. Um, yeah, what was I saying? All the love. On my uh, my vlog, really enjoyed doing that one, showing you the beautiful Welsh countryside and everything. Really is gorgeous, especially when the sun shines. It's it's beautiful. I mean, not so much in the winter. You know, it it can be a bit in the winter, but in the summer, it's absolutely beautiful. Contour done. Loving that. Uh, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna powder down a little bit with the the she glam powder which i really really love and then we will just brush that off get it everywhere <laughs> Right, put that there. Uh, powder brush. And we'll just brush off. The excess. There we go. Lovely. Now, bronzer. Still loving this one. I really am bronzing brush and then we'll just warm up a little bit now with where we've put the contour only a little bit I mean I am only going to B&M <laughs> full glam for B&M I ask you and then we need to do the neck 
colour just gives you that much definition when you put it down there. Perfect. So that is that done. Now, blusher. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of, I don't know whether to try this first. Excuse me, I don't know whether it's going to work like a proper, the, the hourglass one. Look at this. Oh, let me just cover the mirror up. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to try this deeper shade, you know, and see whether to find a brush. A little fluffy brush and I'm going to see whether it works like a blusher Ooh, and a highlighter together mm, we'll see Ooh. look at that it's like a blush and a highlight all in one Oh, that's beautiful. What's it called? Ambient. It's the Ambient Palette. That is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness me. It's like a blusher and a highlighter together. Look at that. You see, wow! Now there's, we've got a little like, like a baby, a singular one, and it's like a baby pink. You know what? I'm going to put some of that on and all. Let's try. See what happens. Oh, it's beautiful. Just lightened it up a little bit. Oh my god, I absolutely love that. Just gonna this is a little bit dark, just diffuse it a bit with the. You know, the last bit that's of my foundation that's on the on the sponge. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I love it. Oh MJ. I absolutely love love that you know what i'm going to do now as well there's a little let's try this fan brush got a little fan brush here i'm going to try this gold one in the middle and see what happens see whether we get any you know like it so it's just like a highlighter Oh, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. You know what? I love, love Hourglass. It is really pricey, but you can get it um, at the bargain prices on Vinted. That's where I've had these from. That is beautiful. I love all of ours. Bit on the top lip. Beautiful. Oh my god, Hourglass. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I can go in there. That can go in there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm leaning over again. 
Now that's blusher done, highlighter done. I'm not going to put any more highlighter on. I think that is quite sufficient. That is gorgeous. You know what? Let me just put these clips in because my hair's doing my head in. Just put them up, stick them up there out of the way. See if, <laughs> see if I can hold my hair back. Right. What's next? What's next, guys? Um go in there brows I think bro oh you know what we didn't try we didn't try this wonder beauty um we can try that in the next one blusher and bronzer we'll try that in the next one along with the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow oh I put no concealer on and I've I've powdered Darren, so we'll have to try that next time and all. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, dear me. Right, let's get the eyebrows done. I'm just going to go off camera and do my brows. You guys know how I do my brows. Um, give me brow by um, Benefit and my um, NYX. No. Ah, oh, that's not the one. That's the... Where is it? That's the brow sketch. Where's the one I've been using? Oh, bugger. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> the NYX um, micro pen. God, I'm all fingers and thumbs today, guys. There we go. Right, I'm just going to go off camera and do my brows and I'll be back in a sec. I'm back. Okay, that's the eyebrows done and I've just put a bit of um, concealer and powdered it down onto my eyelids so we can get on with the eyeshadow. This palette's beautiful. Look at those colours. Really, really nice. I've got my brushes. Right, we need a base shade to start. So, I think I'm going to go with this, this beautiful light pink here. And just use that, because it's nice and matte. As the base shade. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love that one. And then we're going to have a little bit of a darker. You know what? I'm just going to get this this lighter one here. And I'm just going to put a bit of that on your lid. Just in the middle of my lid there. Not too much. And then I'm going to get this darker one here and I'm just going to darken up the crease a little bit more. Oh, that's really pretty. Love this palette. And then I'm just going to diffuse it a little bit again with that pink. And just put a little bit more of the pink over the, the edges just to diffuse it a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I really like that. And then we're going to take the angled brush. Oh, look at these colours. I don't know whether to go for that purpley one or that real dark one there. I think I might go for this real dark one and just put a bit on and we can blend it out because them and them and um, shimmers and these are mattes. You know what? That don't even need because I haven't put too much on doesn't even need 
blending out and I think I've got them pretty even today. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take a little bit of that dark shade there, just the tiniest bit for underneath my eyes. love i love that palette and then we've got to have some sparkle haven't we so i'm gonna go with oh i don't know whether to go with it yeah let's go with the gold because i've got uh, like a yellowy colored top on so i'm gonna get some of this <laughs> some of this gold and just place it in the middle Don't we pull some faces when we're putting our makeup on, guys? <laughs> I do anyway. Do you guys pull faces? Oh, that is gorgeous. You know what I think I might do? Where's my... I need a really tiny brush. Try that one. I might put some on the inner corner. Just to brighten up. The inner corners a bit yeah oh i love that palette guys that is so nice oh new favorite so i think i've got them correct right white eyeliner we need white eyeliner where's it gone here it is just to brighten up the eyes a little bit more there we go, just brightens them up a little bit. And then the next thing is the mascara, the new mascara. So, let's have a look at this. I haven't even took this out of the packet or anything and had a look. It's this one that I mentioned at the beginning, the Bad Bad Llama by B Perfect. I could do makeup all over it already. There's the spoolie. So, let's see if it says what it does. Bad Llama wants all the drama. So, let's try it out. Well, I'm quite impressed, to be honest, guys. I've got some on me bloody <laughs> the top. I always do. I always get some on the top, so we just need to to get that off. Give me a little spoolie. Let's see. I'm quite impressed with that. It is nice, and I always find that a mascara, once it's been opened a few times, it works better than when it does like the first the first time you open it. So we'll try it out again uh, in another video. Um, but yeah, I kind of like that. I really do. Um, it's not clumpy, even though I don't mind a bit of clumpiness in my mascara. You know what? It doesn't bother me but it's not clumpy or anything and it has given me some nice length and some volume and i've also started doing a new thing this is a brown uh liquid eyeliner and what i've been doing is you know how your eye your waterline comes down towards your nose like that i've started putting a bit of brown eyeliner in there just show you Just a little bit in the waterline and bringing it down to where the water line, well, just past where the waterline ends. I 
look at that, the difference it makes. Just right, just follow your waterline downwards and into the corner. Look at that, it just, I don't know, it just elongates your eyes, I think. Do you know what I mean? It just makes them look more cat-like. <laughs> right, that's the eyes done, darlings. Let's try this new caramel and lipstick out. I hope it's okay. Because something else I meant to tell you as well. With lipsticks, if you go for a cool shade that's got like cool undertones it makes your teeth look really white but if if the lipstick has got a warm tone to it it yellows your teeth so like oranges and that with with um warm tones will make your make your teeth look look um more yellow like this one for instance this uh one by Josephine, I think this is. This is a red, but they call them like blue cool undertones. It's not fiery orangey red. It's a cool red. It makes your teeth look really white. So I'm hoping that this one is not too... Looks pretty cool. So we'll see. This is the caramel one. Yeah, it's a cool undertone. You can tell as soon as you put it on. It's got like a bluish tinge to it. So if you want your, your smile to sparkle, always go for a cooler undertoned um, lipstick. Oh my goodness me. I really like that. Really, really. It looks a bit orange on the camera, but it's it's bright red. Love that. So, guys, I'm just going to go off camera, straighten my hair, and I'll be back with a finished look and to bid you farewell. I'll see you in a minute. Ta-da! <laughs> so, guys, this is the finished look with all the products that um i'd showed you previously tested them all out so in review love the foundation it doesn't feel heavy it really is good 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 full coverage um yeah what can i say about it love it the eyeshadow palette love it the mascara um yeah it's okay i will give it another go when you know it's been opened a couple of times and it works a little bit better once it's been opened for a few times love the lipstick and the hourglass blush as well and they are absolutely stunning not even any need for it i mean i could put highlighter on i suppose but you don't really need it um the contour stick the jack josser one i did like um but just a little bit too pale but when i've not got any fake tan on it'll be fine uh yeah so all round i liked every product that i used today i really did and i really like the finished look let me know what you guys think of the finished look right last thing to do is put on some perfume i think we'll have uh, tiffany today this smells beautiful guys if you haven't smelt it or tried it may i suggest that you do it's absolutely beautiful tiffany and co look at the bottle love it i've only got a tiny bit left so uh to all my family that are watching <laughs> uh, it's nearly my birthday so perfume please thank you you know i love perfume right there we go, guys. That's the finished look. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll try and make it as short as possible by, you know, speeding up the bits where I'm not talking and applying the makeup and stuff. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. <laughs> don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, 
let me know what you think of the look down in the comments leave all your lovely comments as usual love having a chat with you guys down there let me know what you think of the products if there's anything that you want me to try let me know that you want me to review i am gonna get the the new mac um mascara it's called mac stack so i'm gonna be ordering that um this week to give that a go as well uh, so let me know if there's anything you know that you you want me to try out or review anything like that let me know and also if you haven't already please subscribe down below it really would mean the world to me if you'd stick around and join our wonderful little community here oh you you lot are just the best you really are and yeah pop on the notification bell and you'll be notified each time that i do upload and that's it, I'm breathing. <laughs> I'm off now to um to B and M and Poundland to pick up the stuff for the collaboration. Like I say, you'll have already seen that. So I'm just talking absolute rubbish again as usual. I'm going. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um this will be up on Friday, so yeah, have a great weekend and I will see you all very, very soon. Love you. Bye.